Hi everybody, welcome back to Debris Day. Today on Debris Day, we're gonna review the Netgear Orbi, which is the mesh network for your home. Let's go guys. So if you can remember from one of our hauls, um, the Amazon haul that I showed you the other day, um, I managed to pick up an Orbi or Netgear Orbi uh, Wi-Fi extender. Now, as I understand it, this is a mesh network. And apparently you can boost your signal for several hundred yards. So what I'm hoping is that we can get Wi-Fi extended to the bottom of the garden out here. So let's go and unbox it. Let's plug it in, let's rig it up and let's see how good it really is. Okay, let's go for the Netgear Orbi network. Okay, let's have a look at the Orbi Netgear. So this is a whole home Wi-Fi system. Um, it says it's tri-band Wi-Fi, comes up to 5,000 square feet with Wi-Fi speeds up to three gigabits. Um, let's have a look on the back, see what it says. On the back, um, Fastlane 3 technology, not sure really what that is. Um, your home and yard covered, manage your kids' screen time, one Wi-Fi network, simple and secure. So down the bottom here, you've got a router and a satellite. Um, you have a sync, internet, power on off, USB 2, gigabit ethernet ports, power on off, USB 2, gigabit ethernet ports, and sync. And it says on the right hand side here, get started with the Orbi app. Use the Orbi app to set up and manage your Orbi Wi-Fi, available on Google Play and the Apple Store. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Let's open her up and let's see what we've got inside the box. Uh, apparently, Netgear Orbi is our top pick for home Wi-Fi systems. Okay, pop into here. Now, this isn't a cheap uh, extender, but we do have problems with Wi-Fi, particularly downstairs. Our house is a, a 1960s house, and that means that we have really thick walls. Um, the solid brickwork, so that makes it really difficult sometimes to get a Wi-Fi signal, certainly downstairs. Um, so that's the plastic off. Let's open up the top. Let's have a look what's inside. And there's a box inside a box. Okay, first thing we see is the uh, Orbi Quick Start Guide. Um, we'll have a read of that in a moment. It tells you what's in there, how to connect it up, how to download it, so we'll read that separately. Um, I guess you just pull this off. Yep, you do. Um, there's one of the stations. Ah, that's a satellite station. Hopefully you can see that it's a satellite pop that one down there and this one presumably is the router just cover up the passwords there's the router pop that one down there and there's a box of stuff and there's nothing else inside the box let's get rid of the box okay inside this white box what have we got in here uh, we have some software updates and compliance compliance we have a power pack, and uh, does it say for a particular one? Uh, no, it's just a power pack, um, quite a big power pack, uh, with a standard power lead. Um, what else we've got here? I guess another power pack. Another power pack, and we have an RJ45 cable, that's presumably to connect to your internet router. That's it inside this white box, so let's get rid of this. A little warranty paperwork thingy. Check that on the far side, and then let's have a look at the main units. Check it down there. So this is the router. Um, let's uh, open her up. Oh, too daisy. That's the Wi-Fi details. So I'll keep that separately. I'll uh, edit that out. Let's have a look at the unit. So to put it into size, uh, size of the router. I'll get my iPhone, everyone seems to have an iPhone these days. So to compare to the size of the iPhone, it's about one and a half times the size of an iPhone. Um, width wise is probably two, two and a half widths. Um, it feels fairly heavy. Just get rid of the iPhone now. It feels fairly heavy. Um, nothing on top, it's all made of plastic. Uh, Nick Air details on the bottom. And on the back, as we saw on the picture, we've got a sync button, internet button, three internet ports, USB, to power and DC, and that's it. That's all you get on the box. So uh, let's sit that one there. Let's have a check on the satellite, see if that's any different. Do the paperwork. So on the satellite box, um, 
I'll leave it on there so we know it's a satellite. It's got a sink, it's got four ethernet ports, it's got USB 2, power, DC and a reset. And that's it, that's all you get guys. So you get a satellite, the main box, cables, power, power, and the elusive quick start guide. Let's just move that back so you have a quick look at it. And zoom in. So very, very basic stuff that you get. Okay, let's now start having a look at the startup guide and see what we've got to do. So it says, set up your Orbi router. Um, follow this instruction, scan the QR code and set, search for the, uh, the app. Okay, it looks like the uh, next stage that we have to do is go and get the Orbi app. So I'm on uh, Apple store here, I'm gonna search for Orbi. O-R-B-I, Orbi, and do a search for that. And Nick it Orbi, let's get that. So that'll quickly download it. So I've plugged it into the back of the router. Um, I'm now gonna plug the power into the primary or the, the master Orbi, which is the blue one. Um, I'm just gonna plug in some power. Um, I'll run it up the desk. The back of the unit is now green on power. Just green on power, just don't let me just see if you can see that. See that green power there? So, once we've done that, wave the roos ring LED to turn white, which is this ring up here. Can you see that? It's flashing at the moment. So, I'll just come up here and show you. Can you see it's flashing? We've got to wait for that to turn white. Once it's turned white, then we take the satellite and we plug that in. So I'm gonna plug that uh, downstairs. So this is the router at the bottom of the stairs, just waiting for it to change color. And then once we've done that, we'll continue the process upstairs. Okay, we've installed the satellite downstairs. The next job is to start up this app and connect to the Wi-Fi network. So I'm gonna do that off screen, um, so you can't see that. Um, and then I'll come back to here and show you what we need to do. Okay, so I've registered and now the next screen it says uh, Orbi would like to access the camera to scan the QR code. Say so, okay on that. Now I'll scan my QR code which is on the back of the uh, the router. So I'm just going to do this off screen. Okay, now I've done this. It says now reboot your modem. So this is the internet modem. I'm plugging it into open, reboot and reset any backup batteries. Plug it okay, so what it's saying is, my internet modem is up here, which is this device up here. It says I've got to turn it off and turn that back on. So I'm just going to do that. So cables are connected and check an internet connection. The internet's just come up on the router, so internet connected. Wait for Orbi satellite to turn solid white. So let's have a quick look downstairs, see if it is actually turned white. Now I don't know if it's meant to be pulsing like that or a solid. I, I guess it said a solid, so we'll just give it a second. Now interestingly, downstairs has not turned a solid white. We're going to hit next anyway and continue. See if it can detect a satellite. Right, off screen, I've got a chance of changing my uh, Orbi Wi-Fi network and network key. So I'm just going to do that now. So I just want to show you what it looks like. This is obviously not my... <laughs> Uh, network ID and password, but I just wanted to show you. So you have my network, my password in here, and then you'd hit next. I'm just going to do this off screen. Next, it asks you for some security questions, so I'll just do that. Next thing it does is applying the configuration. So it's now updating the Orbi based on my Wi Fi settings I've just set. And then we'll give it a try. Orbi network detected. Congratulations, your Orbi is now ready to use. So let's test the internet speed. I normally get here uh, between uh, 25 and 30 meg. So let's do a test speed. And that's at the router, that's on uh, hard coded, so uh, hard wired. Upload up to 10 meg. So upload eight meg there, 8.2, 8.5, 8.39. So that's, that's pretty good. Let's see what the downward load is like. That's the important one, right? 8.5, wow, 31, 32, 31. That's actually really good. For Wi-Fi, that's significantly faster for what I'm used to. Test complete. 
So 32 meg nearly down, uh, eight and a half meg up. Brilliant, let's come back off of there. And that is Orbi. Okay, so that's now configured the Orbi. Um, let me give you a little uh, advice of my experiences of dealing with that. Um, first and foremost, I moved the satellite downstairs and tried con connecting the two together and it was, just wasn't working. So I brought the satellite back up here and I started again. I reset everything back to factory defaults, had them sitting side by side, and then configured them. That seemed to work okay. So then uh, I took the satellite downstairs and tried that. Um, what I've noticed with the satellites, once you plug them in, you do get the flashing white light, and it takes probably three, four, maybe even five minutes to get the blue solid light, which means it's connected. Um, but I had to connect them up here first before I moved the satellite. Then I moved the satellite to the right location in the right part of the house. Three, four, five minutes later, it then started to work, which is great. Next thing I found was, um, we've got one of the ring doorbells, which connects to Wi-Fi and allows you to see who's coming to your door and those kind of things. Um, I did a little test on that, and uh, when you look at the Orbi app, it showed it was connecting to the router rather than the satellite. Anyway, much searching around on the internet, it's a dark outside, it's taken me like two or three hours to like to try and sort this out. It's actually a problem with the firmware. Now, even so, though it says it's connected to uh, the router, it's actually connected to the satellite, which is nearer than the actual router. Uh, apparently, there's a beta version of the firmware that's available now, which fixes this problem. So I'm going to download that next and give that a little bit of a try. So my experiences of dealing with the Orbi, um, they're certainly not for uh, a novice guy who um, doesn't necessarily know how to configure networks and <clears throat> to configure wireless devices. It's been quite tricky. Um, what I have noticed though is I can go right down to the bottom of the garden now, I can still get 20 meg really comfortably from that side of the house, which is a vast improvement of where we were. We weren't getting any internet uh, down the bottom of the garden and whatnot. So overall, the range is fantastic. Configuration is quite difficult. Um, if you read on the forums, and I'll post some of the, the links down below, especially to the firmware, um, they do have problems. So make sure you get the right firmware. My advice would be set them up locally together, move the satellite away afterwards and give it time. It takes a good five minutes for that blue light to come on to show it's connected. But the distance does work. We've got really thick walls in the property. Um, this one is upstairs. The one downstairs is probably a good 20 or 30 meters away, something like that distance, and it does work. We test it outside, we get great uh, great Wi-Fi. Just remember if you change your device. So um, I've disabled the Wi-Fi on my, my main modem that comes into the property for internet. I disabled the Wi-Fi on that. I now just use the Wi-Fi on the Orbeez. Um, obviously you have to change your internet for things like uh, Sonos's and Wi-Fi's and laptops and all those sort of good things. So just remember you've got to do that. Um, what I'll do, um, all of this technology we've bought in the last few weeks, um, I'll give it a try over the next few weeks and let you know what's good, what's bad, and a general review based on our technology haul. Okay guys, well that's the end of the video. Um, I hope that's been useful to you. Um, that's the Netgear Orbi, um, the 3000 version, which is the 5 gigahertz version. Uh, if you've got any questions or queries, you know, let me know down below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Or if, if you bought them yourselves and you've got queries about how to set them up, again, drop me some notes downstairs there, I'll be able to help you. If you can click the subscribe button in this corner and remember to do the bell, you'll see my videos. They come out at least once a week, sometimes twice a week. And give me a thumbs up if you found this video useful. Thanks guys for watching Debra's Day and I'll see you next time. See you later. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.